So let's take a look at leveraging PowerShell and WhatsApp Gold to graph email volume through an Exchange server. So you can see here that I'm logged into my WhatsApp Gold server. I've got my email server highlighted, my Exchange server. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is uh, bring up monitor library so we can create that performance monitor. So here in the performance library, I'm just going to create a performance monitor. I'll select PowerShell. Give it a descriptive name. But the script I've got is right here. So this line number two is a pull minutes. That's how often it's going to be reaching out. You want to make sure that it lines up with the pulling interval you set in plug. And I don't recommend one minute, but I'm using that just for demonstration purposes. On line three, I've got the context.get property. The context variable is specific to WUG, and the get property method will actually get the value of a certain variable for the host that the monitor is applied to. So the address is the IP address. There's not a host name, so we have to actually do a reverse DNS lookup to get that host name. So that's what that line does. Then lines five and six, I'm creating and importing the exchange session so I can talk to the exchange server. And then lines 10 and 11 are where the magic happens. So line 10, I'm getting all of the emails with the received event ID, and on line 11, I'm returning that to WUG. So I'm going to copy that and then paste it into the script here. And then really important, uh, make sure you want to run this using the Windows credentials assigned to the device, assuming that those credentials are able to talk to Exchange. Mine are. We'll hit Save. And I'll bring up the device properties, and we'll get that monitor assigned. And here it's really important to make sure you match the polling interval with the polling minutes variable in that script. All right. Okay, so first thing we want to check is it should have a zero value for the first poll. And we can validate that with the monitor that we've got. All right, so you can see that it is last poll 25 seconds ago. So I've got 35 seconds to send a lot of emails. Thank you, PowerShell. Here we go. I'll send many mail messages. The script I wrote that just sends a random number of messages. I'll run it three times. Why? Well, I don't know. Three is a good number. If it's been 35 seconds, maybe. We should be able to bring up the today, all of today, and it's still at zero. All right, so once it's been 35 seconds, you'll notice it actually has a graph. So the second poll, it what pulled up uh, 17. That, of course, keep running every minute. And then once you've got a, a couple of days in there, it's really fun to look at the historical values. You can see when people get in, when they leave, when you get a bunch of spam. That kind of thing. Now look at that script. Uh, you can also change the event ID to send. You could also create a performance monitor for an email sent. You could filter by the sending domain and figure out if it's from external or to external. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do with this. But anyway, that is how you use uh, PowerShell and WhatsApp Gold to graph your email volume on an Exchange server.